Howdy! How's all my folks out there in YouTube land today? I have a wood tray here that I'm going to be painting. It's got a, uh, some pansies in it and some leaves and things. And this this is just a little basic wood tray. I get these from um, Factory Direct Craft, I believe. It's the one I got it from. There's several places I buy stuff from. But I think they're the ones that have these. And uh, let me lay a ruler to this so I can tell you the dimensions on this. It is roughly eight inches long and uh, about four and a half inches wide. And it stands, tallest part of it stands about two inches at the tops of the, the handles here. So that's the dimensions on it if you're interested. And what I've done is I engraved, I laid down a pattern in here and I engraved a, a design in the bottom that's got some pansies on it. Now, this would probably be better for wood burning than it would be for engraving. The wood is very, very thin in the bottom of these. And, uh, you know, the, the engraver has a needle point on it. Get my engraver up here. And it's very easy for that to go right through that wood. These are very hard to engrave on. Uh, but wood burning would be a lot simpler, I think. It would take longer, but it would be easier with the wood. Anyway, I got it engraved. I peeled off the pattern and I stained the entire piece. I used a pecan stain. Um, it is uh, Minwax. Very simple to find. I got it at Walmart. And I've laid out uh, some, some of my metallic paints up here that I'm going to be using to paint this design with. And I'm going to start off with a green color. I wanted to go with metallics on this because I really want it to pop want it to stand out and be seen. And I think the metallics will do that for this. So we're going to take, I call this going raw. You go right into the bottle and we're going to do this raw. I'm going to, all this uh, design on it is going to be done with the green metallic and the flowers I will do in purple and yellow like pansies, like your basic pansy. You know how I say go to the edge of your design right around your lines first. And then fill in the middle. Get your outline laid in. You want to stay inside the lines. Once we get it all painted, a little piece of fuzz there, get that off my brush. Uh, once we get it all painted and it dries, then I will put Krylon to it to seal it. Once that's dry, I'll sign it, and that will be good to go. And just in case you're wondering what all this painting has been about the last couple of weeks, I've got craft shows coming up that I'm trying to get a lot of my artwork ready for, and that's why all the painting. We will go into other crafts as soon as I get caught up here, which better be by the end of the week, because Friday and Saturday I have a craft show and then the following Saturday I've got another craft show so whatever is left from this one will go to that one and hopefully I don't need to make up a bunch more. Well, I don't know. I've got mixed feelings on that. I mean, if I have to make up a bunch more, it means stuff sold, right? So, <laughs> but I've got a whole house full of artwork so I don't think it's going to be an issue. This weekend is is the big dog for me as far as I'm concerned because I'm going in and representing the Carver's Club at what they call the Fiber Festival here in town. It's mostly um, wool and, you know, spinning type things, spinning, knitting, needlecraft stuff. However, we do take things from local clubs here and represent the city. Come on, get some paint on the brush. There we go. And another thing you'll notice, when I start on a piece, I generally start at one end and work to the other. 
as far as a color is concerned. Like right now I'm laying in these leaves and I started here on the right side. I'm going to be working to the left side. I mean, you could do it vice versa, all that. But I don't like having to switch up colors in the middle of the painting. Uh, I do all one color and then I go to another. This is a pretty color of green. It's an emerald green. And I don't want it so dark that it covers over the design of the veins in it. So, see here, I've got a little bit of heavy paint, so I'm pulling back out of that to paint this other one with. Paint that little stem down there. There's a little corner of a leaf down here that needs to be painted. Really study your design. Make sure that you're getting everything painted that needs to be painted. And this looks like it's part of a leaf right in here. I'll make a division in it. Right there. Like that. Just like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to put the lid back on that green paint. Then I'm going to come in with some of this. They call this berry frost, but it is a purple color. And I want to check something here right quick. Let me pull something up. I want to check. Make sure that I get the coloring correct on this. Okay. That's looking good to me. So let me do, 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 do many, many things going on here at one time. Get that up and get this up. There we go. I want to be able to see my screen and see that picture at the same time so that I get this correct. All right. The outer parts of this are purple. So first we're going to get this outer part. And then we'll do this one. I'd rather look at a picture and get an idea of what I'm going for. I can always adjust it later. But to just, you know, try to go by memory and not remember it correctly. Because it's still winter here. It's been sleeting outside tonight. So there's no pansies to actually go out and take a look at. I have to take a look at one on the internet. I love these micro brushes. I get these from Welburn Gourd Farms. And the same with my metallic paints. They are Gourdmaster, sold by 
Wilbur and Gord Farms. And I, they are not a sponsor. I don't make a dime off of them. But I love their products. There's different colors of pansies, but I'm partial to the purple ones. Okay, now I'm going to put the lid back on that paint. And I'm going to come back to it later, maybe. We'll see. Because next is going to go in the yellow, which is actually gold. See, and since it's a little sponge brush, you can just rub it all around in there to get the paint in all the little nooks and crannies of it. Now, if that purple was a little drier, it would be helpful. But these little parts in here are also gold. And the gold kind of streaks up into the purple a little bit. Not looking too shabby. All right. Now we'll get this other one. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need that purple anymore at all. That's blending in nice. And see, when I pull that gold up into that purple like that, before I dip it back in my gold paint to do the next petal, I wipe the brush off because I don't want any contamination of that purple into my bottle of gold paint. There we go. Well, I thought I had some. What's going on here? There we go. Now there's a little puddle of purple paint. I'm going to pull some of that off of there. And wipe it off on the paper towel. And we'll come in with a little more gold. Well, trying to get a little more gold. There we go. Just pull right up into that purple. Oh, goodness. <laughs> How in the world did I manage to do that? Now, let's see. Just right up there on that rim. So, let me fix that. Did you see me do that? Wipe that brush right across there. The way we fix that. As we get some alcohol on a paper towel. Get rubbing that out. I just got it right up there on the rim. One more. 
our car. A clean place on the paper towel. Wipe it down a little bit more. There we go. That cleaned that up. If you get it while it's wet, you can straighten up messes like that. I'm trying to work with cat paws here. <clears throat> my hands don't work with my arthritis anymore. Arthritis in my thumbs. Don't let me hold stuff the way I used to. Don't get old. I don't recommend it. And there we go. I was so close to being done before I made a boo-boo. See, it just goes to show you, you can fix anything. I mean, heck, if I had to, I'd paint the whole rim of the thing black. But <laughs> that'd cover up a myriad of sins, wouldn't it? Okay, now, this one's ready, all except for putting a Krylon on. As soon as it's dry, I can Krylon it and, and put my signature to it, and it's done. So, there you have it. In the description of the video, you will see there is a link to my uh, Twitch, to my Twitter, to my Instagram, to my Patreon page, to my Etsy channel. Please check all those out. There's also a link to the PayPal account. If you would like to donate money, it helps me buy supplies so I can keep bringing you videos. And uh, this is all funded by my viewers so viewer supported channel and i appreciate anything that's donated it's not mandatory but you know it's it's appreciated if you uh contribute and uh let's say with that being said i guess there's only one thing left to say uh, besides give it a thumbs up if you like it and that is brenda's crafty be like brenda <laughs>